Okay, welcome back here in East Tennessee. We have all kinds of different animals and species of animals, and one of those is an endangered turtle species named the bog turtle. Uh, with us right now to talk about it with Zoo Knoxville is Phil Calcliffe. That's it. You I got, got it. it. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I almost high-fived you, but I, I have a turtle in my hand. But you have a turtle. I don't know if you can see this little guy <laughs> that you have in your hand. Tell us about this turtle. Yeah, so this is um, this is a bog turtle. It's an East Tennessee native. It's actually okay. one of the most critically endangered turtles in the world. Oh, his head's um, coming out a little yeah. bit. Yeah, and when you think of, um, you know, highly trafficked species in the illegal um, animal trade, you, mm -hmm. you a lot of times think of tigers and ivory and all that other sure. stuff. But right here in our backyards, there are um, turtles being poached and sent overseas for the pet trade and the food markets. And oh. it, it's as big, big of a crisis as anywhere else in the world right now. So oh we've actually been re-releasing these, these guys back into the wild since mm -hmm. um, I was a sophomore in high school, and I'm 52 years old. I was so going to say, a, that was just a few yeah, years ago. This is a project we've been working on for a long, long time and have released over 180 of these back into the wild. And, they're, and because they're so rare, they get poached. So it's a really, it's a top secret operation. And a, oh a, lot, of, a lot of times people don't realize zoos, um, um, accredited zoos, AZA accredited zoos, mm -hmm. have such a role in something like that. So We're finding out more about all the important work that Zoo Knoxville is sure. doing, and we're so proud to have you all here and yeah. doing this incredible work Thank with you. turtles and other uh, endangered animals. Yeah. Um, the zoo recently did a survey on the success of a breeding program. Let's talk about that. Sure. How did that do? So we've been doing this for a long, long time, as yeah. I just mentioned, and, yeah. and we have to have benchmarks to see if it's successful or not. We don't sure. want to pour all our resources into a project that's not working. So yeah. um, we just spent 21 days in the field um, with with traps, passive traps to catch these turtles, and mm -hmm. camera traps to see them, mm -hmm. and um, identify our, our level of success with these releases so so far. And um, it's it's. It's great. We're doing really well, but it's going to be, you know, we're almost 40 years into the study, but it's going to be 80 years before we really know what's going on because these guys are such long-lived species. So um, it'll be a generation ahead of me. They're going to continue this work that Zoo Knoxville pioneered, you know, that many years ago. So such I'm super proud of that. A lot of people don't think be. that um, we, you know, we, we do a lot of conservation on grounds and we do a lot of conservation out in the world too. So um, this is one of our hallmark. Uh, we, we are known worldwide for this project here you at Zoo are. Knoxville. Yeah, and it's, it's incredible. It's a, yeah, it's a really, really great project. Let me ask you this. Mm -hmm. Once you release them, you said, you know, they're, they're always at risk of being poached. Mm -hmm. So that's got to be frustrating to know, okay, sure. we're doing all this work yeah. to release them. Right. What's the next step? I mean, I, I know you're with cameras and all that. You're keeping an eye out. Sure. Yeah, we're keeping an eye out. I mean, the, the beauty of their release site, although we can't tell anybody where it is, is it's on private land, okay. and we've really developed relationships with these private landowners over those years, and um, so we kind of have <clears throat> a security force right in place with these. I mean, if somebody drives by there a little too slow, you got every eye in the neighborhood kind of looking and seeing and making sure nothing's going on, so yeah. um, conservation is relationship building, too. We've built these relationships with mm -hmm. these local people, and they are so proud of these turtles and educate their kids and grandkids about it and that sort mm -hmm. of thing, so it's, um, it's, a, it's a pretty neat story. It really yeah, is. It's, you know, it's really every, cool. every time I see a turtle, I think, oh, if only you could talk, especially yeah. the ones that have been around. Well, imagine, for a long it, we've time. got one at the zoo. It's almost 150 years old. Love and, it. and I think, man, I think it wasn't the world. Same thing, if I you know. could talk. Thank you yeah, so it's much. It's awesome. Thanks for having us. We appreciate it a lot. Thank you. We really appreciate it.